Hello. Today we're going to talk about uh, creating a remote switch over the internet using an IGPIO website interface. The system works as follows. Um, there's an IGPIO server uh, attached which may be communicated with by either a browser from a PC, tablet, or smartphone via the internet and a remote device. And the remote device may have a um, GPIO uh, interface which can be remote con remotely controlled um, via the IGPIO server. And we're going to show you a simple example of how you can use a Raspberry Pi uh, connected to an LED and to turn on that LED or off using your browser remotely. So as I said, th this works, the user can set the switch on or off using a web browser and the Raspberry Pi, which is in this example, reads the switch value from the IGPIO website server at regular intervals and sets the switch status accordingly. That is, it turns an LED on or off. So to, to actually build this example, you'll need a Raspberry Pi Model B, which has internet access, could be wired or wireless, an LED and a 330 ohm resistor, and some jumper wires and a breadboard. So the actual five steps you'll be need to build the switch are to register for a free account at the IGPIO website. You would need to set up some device general parameters at IGPIO. You would need to also set up some detailed device parameters uh, at the IGPIO website. You would need to actually build the switch with the Raspberry Pi for the L and the LED. And then you would just start and run the program on the Raspberry Pi. Start the switch. So the first step, you would need to register for a free account at IGPIO. You can do that at IGPIO.net. You would click on the free registration button uh, uh, accessible from the IGPIO tab. Fill out the registration and submit it and activate it with an email link that you would receive shortly afterwards. And this is the uh, registration page. It's very simple. Email address, password, first and last name, and that's pretty much it. To set up the device general parameters, you would click on device manager button and set two parameters. The name, which we'll call in this example LED switch, and an alert delay parameter, in this case 600, which is the time in seconds before the IGPIO system would send you an email warning if the device has not updated the LED switch at the expected update interval setting. And this is what the uh, page would look like, except for the fact that if you look at the far right column, which says open, there's an NA. Once this device has been activated, that actually would be a clickable link, and you would be able to open the device and access its device-specific parameters. So once you would be able to do that, you would go to the device-specific parameters and use channel 1 only, and you would set the channel 1 parameters as follows. You would add a label, in this case LED. Uh, you would enter a value. Uh, for example, 1 means to turn on the remote LED, uh, or 0 to turn it off. Value 2 and value 3 are not used, and flag should be 2, which means that the browser can update this value at the IGPIO website. Check the Enable box and then click on the Update button to complete the settings. In this case, as you can see, uh, you have the LED channel 1 showing the value of 1. And you'll notice that in the last column says Update Time, not applicable. applicable. That's because uh, the device has not uh, been updated because, of course, we have not yet built a device. Once the system is up and running, you'll see a time at which the last time that the device uh, accessed the website. So now we're going to build, we, we'll show you how to build a switch. We're not going to talk about those steps in detail, but you can go to the uh, maxembedded.com website, or you can also visit the igpio.net website at the link shown and you will find a link to the same place and you can uh, get the necessary hardware set up from there. 
So once you've built the switch and set up the uh, website, um, you will then start the switch. In other words, turn the Raspberry Pi on. It needs to be connected to the internet, wired or wireless. You can then download some Python code from the IGPIO website, save that code um, to the home slash Pi directory. You, can, you should then use the uh, command to add a cron job, that is to schedule the program using cron tab hyphen E and add the line shown to schedule that program to run every five minutes and save the change and exit cron tab. And at this point, the remote switch should be working. That is, you can turn on the LED by setting channel value to one or zero to turn it off from anywhere that you might have internet access from a PC, tablet, or smartphone. In this example, the device that's the Raspberry Pi will read the channel value every five minutes and turn on and off the LED, LED according to the channel value you have set. Thank you very much for watching this show. We hope you enjoyed it.